Happy New Year! Anyways, guys, welcome back for another video. I'm absolutely thrilled uh, you're joining me. Here it is, Friday, first day of the new year. So, why not do it right and break in, or, you know, break in the year with a fresh, wonderful, relaxing shave. Anyways, but first, we'll go ahead, let's take a look at my shave ridge here. Um, I've had APAs or whatever they're called. Um, you know, I just can't get behind them. Not my favorite type of beer. I prefer lagers, but I really prefer imports and I really import, uh, really like stout beers. Um, so tonight or today we're drinking Guinness. Nectar of the Emerald Isles. Let's go ahead. Let's crack it open. Put my bottle opener away. Mm. Yes, I can drink of that. There we go. Anyways. We'll go ahead to kick this shave off right. Tonight we're using, let me grab it out of my Fender Hen adjustable shave stand. 1908 Canadian uh, Gillette single ring. Absolutely love this razor. I don't use it that often, but when I do, I get great shaves. The blade is an Astra. SP or Superior Platinum, also known as the Astra Greens, if you're new to this hobby. The soap is in my vintage six, 1960s Old Spice mug. Uh, and it's American Blend, or it's Fine American Blend, which is a barbershop scent. And sitting here in my skull goblet, brush, brush soaker is my brush that my friend Christian sent me which is squeeze out some of the water Simak 620 it's a bore brush got this nice square handle real nice brush my friend Christian wasn't giving it quite enough love so I said, hey, I want to send it your way. A little bit of water on top of the puck and start loading. Anyway, so I hope y'all had a safe and happy New Year's. We went ahead, we stayed in, of course, because of the global bastard. Um, got a friend up visiting from down south in LA um, lifelong friend of my girlfriend's um, she lives in a pretty safe house her and her mom they don't go a lot of places so she ended up coming up for the New Year's Sorry about that while the sound of the wire. Anyways, let's go ahead and wet the face. There we go. Take another drink of beer here. Mm. And to save time, because if you've been doing this more than a couple of shaves, you know how to, how to lather. So I'll see you guys after I'm done lathering. Anyways, got a good coating of lather. Let's go ahead and run some hot water over this blade. There we go. And first pass with the grain. If you've never used a Gillette single ring, They are 
definitely more aggressive than many of the Gillettes out there. And uh, when I first used it, I ended up using a uh, Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Blade. I've I think I've told this before. But yeah, that blade for me, that blade for this razor is not a good pairing. That's for sure. I went ahead, I shaved with it, and it kicked my backside. Two thousand twenty was a hell of a year. Hopefully. This year will be much better. One moment, guys. Dog was at the back door barking. But yeah, this year, last year's been really messed up for a lot of people. So, let's just hope this year is better. Gonna go ahead and lather up for the second pass. I'll see you on the other side. Anyhow. One thing I didn't show in that Christmas haul video was a gift that my brother and sister-in-law got me, which was a seven little set, 750 milliliter bottle of Gentleman Jack whis uh, bourbon whiskey, with. Um, a bar towel and uh, razors cutting very smooth and uh, one of those mixing glasses with a it has silicone top instead of a metal top and a little what do you call it a little basically a little thing of holes for like a strainer but then yesterday my brother ended up almost got myself ended up bringing me over some Johnny Walker black label scotch and um So I ended up going ahead and giving him some of the Gentleman Jack because he had never tried it before. So, went ahead and sipped myself some Johnny Walker last night. It was nice. Of course, all the idiots here where I live, they were, as soon as, even before it got dark, they were setting off fireworks, homemade fireworks. That or the fireworks weren't California legal. Getting a little bit of irritation on my neck. And I'm using a very, very, very light touch. So, if you get a single ring and you're new to this, expect aggression, uh, you know, an aggressive shave. Because 
it's uh, I figured you know don't worry about cutting away just for a quick paint on but um it's setting off fireworks shooting off guns a lot of people was shooting off guns me and my dad was talking earlier because where he lives they had a lot of that too and he was all, uh, it sounded like people were setting off half sticks of dynamite, shooting their guns like a bunch of morons, you know, not thinking of or not realizing that those, those bullets, they go up, but they got to come down. And, um, I told my dad, I said, I guess they don't realize that we have a little something called gravity here on Earth, or at least at that moment they forget. Almost done here. But scared the poor scared the crap out of my poor dog, or our, the family dog, the family dog. Heck, she is just sitting there. She's a little Queensland. Healer, Steph Terrier Mix. And, um, she was sitting there just shivering from all the noise. So. We let our son stay up till midnight. So at midnight we had some sparklers left over from the 4th of July. So they went out and he got a of sparklers. Mm, those teeth got me. Let's go ahead and let's give it a rinse and see how I did. See if there's any cleanup, which usually with this razor, there's not really a lot of cleanup. I mean, it's, it is efficient, I'll say that. So that's good. Let's see here. Yeah, kicked my ass on my neck a little bit. That's definitely passable. That's pretty smooth. One moment so I can rinse off the remainder, which isn't much. And we'll be back for the post, or for the album and then the post. All right, we're of the Maggard's album. Yeah, fired me up. It's firing me up. No, oh, yeah, that's barking. Yeah, if you've never straight razor shaved and hear people say, hey, you know, you get a smoother shave, less air take. They're right. They're right. I'm not a straight razor aficionado by no means, but I learned that one really early on. Um, I use my straight razor pretty good. Um, you know, very little, if any, irritation at all. You know, I got overshaved spot, but that single ring, 
it, 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 it gives you irritation, even if you press light. But I like using it from time to time. The irritation goes away relatively quickly. Anyways, I'll rinse off and be back to apply the post. Ah. Not a black, black sheep shaving towel. Just shaved by hand. Or the hand is shaving. I can't remember what the hell that Etsy store calls themselves. It's a good absorbent. Good absorbent shaving towel. I like it. Uh, let's see here. Well, oh man, at this time I do get better results as far as closeness with um, a DE than I do from a straight, but give me a couple more months or even, you know, another month and that should be rectified. T. Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Drink a beer. Sit there and shave my head. I'm not going to do a video of shaving my head. Not this time. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the leaf to it, get it all straightened out, and get it back to bald. Yeah, I think I started shaving my head like 2006, 2007, somewhere in there, because I was starting to go bald, and I did not want to be one of those fellas that ends up having the hairline that goes like this you know with long hair because at the time i had well i had long hair and then i cut it to a burr cut because the long hair just got oh damn way 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 too much one sec But, yeah, I figured, going bald, nothing funkier looking than a guy that's got long hair and, and uh, long hair and, uh, what do you call it, long hair and bald spots or even a crew cut and bald spots has like, God, I really put too much. It's like, yeah, I'm not going to be one of those guys. So I just went ahead and started shaving like, you know, back in 06, 05, 06, maybe 07 at the most. So. I was a bit vain about my long hair. I had a little bit of vanity going on. But. Sometimes reach a point in your life where you're like, yeah. Time to look a little bit more mature, I guess. All right. Now the aftershave is, cause the scent's pretty close with the American blend and that's my Razor, Razor Rock Barbershop. Give it a shake. Got a decent restrict, really decent restrictor on it. Got some burn. But. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that's nice. Anyways, guys. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of menthol on this. Tiny bit. Feels good. Anyways, 
that's the shave thank you so much for joining me um likes comments subscriptions always appreciate it. if you need to reach me via email my email address is in my about section anyways y'all take it easy if you're hung over you did it to yourselves but you did it for a good reason saying bye to a screwed up year messed up year a horrible year and welcome to new year that we all hope goes so much better not just here in america but all around the world anyways thank you for joining me and uh take it easy i'll see all of you on the flip side of the plate bye bye now